Good morning. This is Dave, and I think we'll be live in about no time at all. So let's see how this works today. Um, on YouTube, good morning. On Facebook, good morning. It is Monday, and I'm a bit early because I've got a whole bunch of headshots lined up starting at 10 o'clock my time, Mountain Center time. So I'm going to likely start going a little bit earlier when I have shoots. And then I think I've got a big shoot on Thursday where I'll be shooting all day. So I won't be able to be here. But good morning, everybody. Uh, let me see if I can kind of see who's here. And I can't right now. But yeah, I'm thinking of actually doing a couple things. And um, today, Java, coffee, and, coffee, and, and camera talk. Um, one is... Uh, uh, news flashes. Um, it's hard to be here every day, <laughs> but it was a little bit easier when I just took my iPhone out and I could just go live whenever I felt like it. But to do something useful where you guys get some value out of it, I think it takes more time for me to be thoughtful about what I want to share and what I want to say um, besides just saying, hey, how you guys doing, man? Um, and so I do want to kind of feel out whether I should just make a group on Facebook here and then just share there instead of just spamming you guys everywhere uh, on my different pages as well as on YouTube. Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, hi from Greece. Coffee at home says, good morning, coffee at home. And I hope, at, what time is it in Greece right now? Uh, welcome here. Glad, glad to have you here. And on Facebook, I I am not really seeing anybody here right now, but, um, well, I can see people who are watching, but I can't see who's here. They kind of change it all the time, Facebook. So right now, um, who knows? But I did want to talk about, oh, Quinn Quinn's here. Hello. Oh, I newsflash. I don't have a bell. Ding, ding, ding. Where's my bell? I don't even know. Um, Quinn Spired. She is launching her web shop today at noon Mountain Standard Time. So go check out quinspire.com. And um, my lovely wife has been working hard with her new kiln. Um, it's used, but it's a new one to us and has been making a whole bunch of beautiful stuff. So do that. So Quinspired shop update today at noon. Be there or be a square. This is actually a square cup. Isn't that cool? It's kind of a square cup. It's kind of a rounded square. I'm not sure if you can see that, but oh, you can probably see it a little bit closer here. Oh, thing of beauty right there. See, coffee and cameras. Coffee, ca never mind. You know what it, how it goes. So let's take a peek here. And um, Perspective Caribbean. Hey, Dave, what's up? Hey, long time no see. And coffee at home from Greece says it's 1830 there. Whoa. So it's a little bit late for coffee. But from your username, I'm assuming coffee at home um, is never too late for coffee. We think alike. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers, guys. Uh, so one thing I've been really grappling with right now is Kenny Nakai. Chicago's in the house. Welcome here, man. Um, big shout out to you. I miss you. It's been a long time. And you're beautiful babies. Mm. Um, cheers. Is whether I should be starting to sell some of my old gear and letting go of the past and or and buying some new cameras that I could use for my future shoots. And so my trusty and reliable uh, A7 III, I love this thing, uh, but I only have one of them. And believe it or not, I still have four, count them, four D750s, Nikon D750s. And they're still a great camera, and I prefer them for stills over my Sony. But my problem is, like, you know, since we've kind of stopped shooting weddings, it's easier for me to just shoot um, with one or two cameras, not four, because Quinn and I don't need four cameras anymore. But right now, I'm shooting with the Nikon D750s. You're, look, you're, you're watching one right now here, and this is another D750 over here. For, and so I'm still using them all. I've got a studio shoot downstairs. Quinn's shooting them in her other studio where she shoots her pottery. So it's not like we're not using this stuff, but I, you know, I'm thinking to myself, self, what if I sold a couple of the bodies, a couple of the lenses, and then purchased, let's say, a Blackmagic Cinema Pocket. And then I could have like 10-bit recording for video, which I'm getting more into, of course. And so video has taken over my life versus stills. Um, or if I purchased, hey, a Nikon Z6 or Z6, um, and they're like selling like for so cheap right now. I think they're $2,200. No, it's not cheap, but they're $2,600 regular price, but they're selling for $2,200 uh, $2 here in Canada land. So that's pretty darn decent. Um, anyways, 
I digress. Um, I'm kind of wondering about that. And da, 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 this lens. Um, I need to show you some pictures that I've created with this lens. Some of my very favorite pictures, um, but is a tilt shift 24 millimeter 3.5 from Nikon. New, it's close to three grand Canadian, about 28, 27 and change. And um, I will be selling this thing um, for a lot less than that. <laughs> Little, little tear, little tear right here. Um, but I think it's time for me to kind of let go of some gear um, that, that I've accumulated over the years. And so if you know anybody, if you know a guy, you know, I know a guy who wants to sell a tilt shift lens. So hook me up, man. Hook me up. What, what are you guys shooting with now? I mean, there's so many great options. We've got the Sony, of course, who is insane. Um, Greg Gibson, David Pullum, you guys are doing some insane work and sharing stuff that you guys are getting from weddings. Um, but also, you know, Canon's been killing it for a long time now, the EOS R. I have been trying out this camera over here, which is a Panasonic G95, which is almost released this month. And so I've got this hooked up. It's actually pimped out with a Meta, Meta Bones speed booster and an old Nikon 24mm 2.8 Prime that I have. And so really this one um, with this Metabones Speed Booster turns into, I believe, a f2.2-ish. Um, well, it increases it by over a stop of light, I think, as well as making about a 30 millimeter lens. And so it's a useful wide angle lens here with this adapter. But I'm wondering, you know, is this going to be good enough for me or should I go for the black magic? Because the one thing that I've noticed on this particular camera is that it has a lot of noise in the shadows. Um, even just a, like 800 ISO is about all I'd shoot it at if I, if, if, if I shoot it at perfect exposure. And yeah, they claim that this one has V-Log built into it. And V-Log means it has like... Um, it's supposed to capture more details, but the problem is I found that it's 8-bit. So even if I capture in V-Log and I bring it into my editor and try to color grade it and correct, because eight, um, like log profiles are really flat. And when you add or bring boost up the shadows, there's a lot of noise that comes out of there too. So I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to be able to capture what I want it to capture, this beast. Um, although I do love the form factor, I love how tiny it is. I love the flip out screen. It's just awesome for me to, for viewing angles. And it, it's so self-contained. I don't need anything for me to shoot with um, unlimited record time on this little boy. But um, yeah, I'm wondering if the low light capabilities are enough for what I need. So we'll find out, I guess. But um, let me do something for you before I let you go. I'm gonna check over here. And I did wanna share a thought of the day before I go and finish setting up in the basement. And the thought of the day is this. If we let ourselves, we shall always be waiting for some destruction or other to end before we can really get down to our work. Sorry about the typo, C.S. Lewis. But um, this is my life. I think this is all our lives these days. It's so easy to get distracted by this guy and... Um, it's not just the kids that are distracted. I'm distracted, admittedly so. And there's so many things that are pulling for our attention these days. It is hard to keep track and focus on what's important. And for me, um, that's what I'm going to try to do this week as well, is trying to refocus and figure out, okay, I need to be better um, for my family, for my wife, um, for the people that I serve, whether it's Motiboto users or my clients that I'm shooting. So yeah, I hope you guys can um, start off your week. And it's Monday. It is June 17th, 9.40 currently in Mountain Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, YouTubers, as well for being here and shouting out. So God bless, and I shall see you guys in the next live stream.